everyone, welcome back to Red Gaming Tech for your daily dose of the latest gaming news and myself, Amata. Today is of course the 28th of September and I have some rather pleasing news as there have been some confirmation of some reports from earlier this year that Chinese authorities have said that the country is planning to lift a long-standing ban on the manufacture and sale of game consoles. Now, all of this is according to the Wall Street Journal, and I'll put a link to their article if you want to give it a read. And basically, China's highest decision-making body, which is of course the State Council, has said today that foreign game companies operating manufacturing within a new Shanghai trade zone will be able to sell their products across the country. However, each device will still need to be approved by the Ministry of Culture. Now, the consoles have been officially banned for over a decade and they have still been available through other unofficial channels, but most gamers in that particular country have just enjoyed gaming on either PCs or smartphones. And unfortunately, they did not actually provide us a timeline for when the ban is going to be lifted, but the Chinese government is planning to implement new regulations for the Shanghai trade zone over the next three years. Now, in case you're wondering, government ministries originally decided to ban consoles back in 2000 due to their fears over the impact games were having on young people, which basically led to a very nice increase of popularity of PC gaming and internet cafes, as it was just a sort of console consoles and, and the manufacture of consoles that was banned of course gaming on PCs was still perfectly legal as well as gaming on smartphone devices. Now the official statement from the State Council reads quote foreign companies operating within the trade zone will be able to offer so far unspecified information technology services including internet software data processing and storage services and as I previously said the Ministry of of industry and information technology will be expecting to release more specific guidelines in the coming months and this is according to lawyers so hopefully we'll get some more confirmation on what exactly is going on but it sounds like a very very positive step indeed now of course gaming hasn't been crushed completely by this ban as I said it has still been going on via smartphones and PCs however lifting this ban of the manufacture and sale of consoles is a huge deal now, Obviously, it's not going to happen, say, tomorrow, but it is in the works with this new Shanghai trade zone. And anyone operating within that zone will be able to sell their games slash consoles across the country. So it's a, definitely a positive step for anyone that happened to be living in China and just for us gaming as a whole. Definitely a very nice step forward. This There has been rumblings of this since early 2013, as I did mention earlier. As anonymous sources actually reported to China Daily that the ban was under review and of course those particular rumours have been officially confirmed by the state council. So I'd be curious to hear your thoughts. Um, it'd be interesting to see the future of gaming in China and just the future of gaming in general, what this actually means. Obviously the most effect it's going to have is within that region, but still it's definitely a positive step forward and I'd be curious to see how this actually changes things as we move forward. Anyway, that is me done for this video. I hope you've enjoyed it. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time.